Hey Lola's What it do, what it do, what it do, do, do Um, so listen y'all <laughs> I found out that I got a shopping problem I got a shopping problem with dolls, clothes, accessories, craziness But I need to have a cleaning problem Because I still need to finish cleaning this nursery Yeah Um, but listen here there is so I'm working on Gianna by uh Kathy Romero Bis Biscuity. <laughs> I don't know what how to pronounce her last name. Uh, but anyway, it's a full body. And I want to keep it, <laughs> but I can't. I it's gonna be a baby that I'm gonna put up for sale. Um I know I wanna keep it because that's just how I do. But, I've learned that what I think I've been doing now, so it's also available as a cuddle baby. Do y'all think it's just ridiculous of me if I just order the head so that I can at least have, because I really love the face on that one. Do y'all think it would be ridiculous of me to just order me a head so I could paint me a, a head? Like, I really, that's, like, I want, I am going to slow down on the cuddle babies. I'm not going to be doing too many more of those because I want to work on more full bodies so I can practice and get better in that area. And plus, I just, I enjoy painting full bodies more than anything. It's just no secret. But... I do, and I have two partials here that I need to go ahead and paint, but I don't just, uh, I, I just, oh Lord, it just takes me a lot of strength and I have to be in a real good mood to paint partials. Um, but listen, I feel like I'm in this stage where I'm going to end up having a lot of cuddle babies. I, I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> I think because they too, like, accessible. To me, like, I feel like you could get cut the cuddle head so easily, and I feel like they're not as expensive. And as long as I don't get really big heads, which I don't think cuddle babies as really big heads is, like, ideal, you know, three months will be the biggest. Um, but for me, I try to keep them small for rooting purposes. So... I have one that I'm working on now, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up keeping that one for myself. But I really think I might want to get the cuddle head. <laughs> oh my gosh, do y'all think that I should just let it go? Like, just, maybe I should just finish this one, get it sold, and see how I feel if I'm just still, like, going crazy, missing it, and then go for the cuddle head if I don't, if I don't get over it quickly I don't know so I don't know I just I don't know I've just been really enjoying my my babies a lot more than usual you know something too this may be something I probably shouldn't like say out loud but I think too sometimes these babies do kind of serve as a comfort Thing. And I guess, well, at the end of the day, hobbies are really what a lot of people have for stress relievers. And because even like the doctor recommended to me at one point when I was really in, going through a lot of stress, he said to me, do you have a hobby? And I said, yes. And then, and then he said, how much time do you spend with your hobby? And I told him and he said, this was way back years, years ago. And he said, spend more time with your hobby. So that he he was like, hobbies are great. They're great for, you know, you know, stress relievers. So I think the more stressed I am with personal life or whatever the case may be going on, the more time I need with my dogs. <laughs> or maybe that's just an excuse. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I do. I feel like I'm really kind of I've been stressed out with a lot of personal stuff. Um, so I think I've been leaning more inward to interacting with my dolls a lot more than I usually do. 
um, which isn't bad, I mean, but I just realized, and it does take my mind off of things, even if it's just for a little while, and that's what people don't realize, they're like, you still gotta deal with the reality of the situation, whatever the situation is that's going on in your life, you have to face that situation, you have to look for a resolution. You can just sweep it under the rug and play with dolls and think that everything is going to magically be okay. Absolutely not. Um, and definitely if you are having some deeply rooted issues, you even may need to see someone professional and, you know, seek even further help. Um, because you never want to get too far stressed out because stress it, stress is a very unhealthy and depression and anxiety and all that stuff it it is it could be deadly so um you don't want to get to a place where you're just it's just really too dark and you just shut down um so there's that but i think for me it's not to that point but i i do definitely like suffer with all of all of that anxiety stress depression um and i think i think every human at to a certain extent deal with that on some type of level i don't i don't i don't know that people like to admit it because people like to oh i'm strong you know and all this and stuff and so i get that um, but sometimes the people that are the strongest are the people that usually are the one that falls the hardest because usually they don't really have no one to lean on because everybody is always leaning on them. Um, just speaking from my own experience uh, of that. But anyway, um, so painting is an escape for me. Um, decorating shopping <laughs> of course my dolls my hobby um i'll start piling them up in my room like dressing them changing their clothes um i was watching somebody video the other day and they were saying how they just really get a kick out of dressing and taking photos of their dolls they're not into role play and bottle feeding and all the other stuff but the dressing and taking photos is like really their thing and finding unique pieces of clothing and all that stuff I get it because um for me I think sometimes when I collect preemie babies I think I kind of get an extra kick out of it because it's harder to find their clothes if that makes sense and their stuff is more expensive, so I have to, like, pace myself with it. But, you know, finding something that fits them cute or something that really wasn't for them, but making it work. Like, say you find this cute little shirt that actually fits them, their body pretty good, like, close and not too baggy, but you put it on them as a dress. Like, stuff like that just amuses me. I don't know. Um, so, I... I totally get someone just being in it for dressing and all that. Um, I think for me, like, um, organization and decoration and uh, all that stuff is also a great stress reliever for me. And I think I'm getting back into that. So <sighs> I'm, I'm about to be crazy. So I'm actually taking, the reason why I'm doing videos today, because I'm actually taking the day off just for cleaning and just movie time and relaxing and pleasure painting. Um, I will paint, you know, whatever I feel like painting, you know, just for relaxation, not necessarily like deadlines and stuff like that. Um, I rarely take a true day off of not working. And not just doing nothing. And so, um, I think after a while your body is like, okay, you need a break. But anyway, I don't even know what was the point of this video. Uh, oh, I think I was coming on to tell y'all about my full body and the fact that I'm getting into collecting all these cuddle babies. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. She have like this one... 
So a little spot. I do crazy stuff like this too. So like while I'm working on other babies, if I have like something I notice on one of my other ones, like she has this little spot right here. When I work on the other ones, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll run and I'm a mat that little, it's a little like literally a sparkle of a shine. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to mat it. That's the good part about, you know, painting yourself and having your own babies and keeping them. I, I can constantly upgrade them if I want to, but I, I don't. I don't make a habit of upgrading my own babies. I definitely don't offer it to other people because my work was what it was at that time and I'm sure the price reflected that. So as I grow in my art, my my prices cha might have changed to reflect that and I feel like if you want my current work, then you should buy my current work. And for me, if I have a baby in my collection from what I painted, way back when i'd rather leave it like that so i can look at my progress as i go um instead of keep upgrading now like if it's maintenance type stuff yeah i might do that but other than that i don't i don't want to just keep like upgrading them like going in and say oh let me add this type of texture let me do this vein on them let me do this let me let me give it some of this and that and i'm just like no just leave them you know, just how they are. Um, but also, oh, and I do want to tell you guys, she's still actually uh, one of my favorites, honestly. Um, I don't know what it is about these cuddle babies, but they just... I don't know. Like, look at this. It's just it's so cute. Like... I don't know, I just think, uh, uh, uh. isn't she adorable? Like, I really just think the cuddle babies are just so great. And they, they are fairly affordable. They can get pricey, though, because, you know, by the time you buy the head, the body, and then the rooting, you have to charge for the rooting, you have to charge for the painting. It still can add up, but it's nothing like buying a full body. Oh my gosh, look at that. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.